Let's try the exercise of arranging decimals in ascending order that would be from the smallest to the largest with another set of data that I've already arranged vertically. As I scan the ones column, I'm looking for the smaller numbers. I see some zeros and ones and a couple of twos here at the bottom. So the zeros are what would come first. So now I'm going to have to look for second letters or second numbers. <laughs> we have a seven, a two. Here's a six, a two. Okay, so we have, these are the numbers that we're, we'll be considering at this point. This is so easy to do on a table, a uh, flat surface where your child has an opportunity to shift the, the papers around. All right, so second numbers, a seven, a two, a six, and a two. Well, our twos are smaller, so let's take a look at these numbers. We have two zeros, two twos, and a one and a zero. So our zero number comes first, followed by a one. So now we have zero, twos, zero, one. Coming back to our, our uh, data set, here we have two zeros, a seven, and a six. Well, that's easy. Six, and then the seven. We don't really care about the rest of the number. It's just the first or second letters at this point. Now we are finished with our zeros in the ones in the uh, units position, the ones position. So let's go back to our complete data set. Again, we're going to be looking at the ones column. We have a one, a one, a one, a two, a one, and a two. So let's pull out our one and consider these. Notice that I'm still lining up the decimal points so my eye doesn't have to shift around too much. All first numbers are the same. Here's a nine, a two, a three, and a two. We have two twos, so we're gonna need to look at these with third numbers. The ones are the same, the twos are the same, but four is smaller than nine. So I have my next number Again, we're going to go back to our units. Uh, the, the ones column has, has two ones in it, but now our second numbers are a nine and a three. And lastly, we have first numbers of twos. The threes are the same as well. Here is a, a two and a two. Let me bring these up a little bit higher so we can consider this. Okay, we have first numbers are the same, second numbers are the same, third numbers are the same. This one has a fourth number, but this card has nothing here. Well, there is a, there is a number that says nothing, and it's zero. So we can put the, we can, in our minds, we can put a zero here on the end in the, in this last position. So now we would have same, same, same. This is an understood zero, and that is seven. Zero comes before seven, so here's our second to the last and our last piece of the data set. And it's as easy as that.